In this video we'll go through an example of using the Hunt and Ash method to solve a liquid-liquid extraction problem. The question asks us to determine the composition of the equilibrium extract and raffinate phases produced when a 45% ethylene glycol and 55% water solution is contacted with twice its weight of pure furfural solvent at 25 degrees C and 101 kPa. We're asked to use an equilateral triangle ternary phase diagram and the Hunt and Ash method. The question also provides miscibility data. This table is given by the question and shows the compositions of different mixtures at equilibrium. This table is also given by the question. It shows the compositions of pairs of mixtures that would be at mutual equilibrium. This refers to when a non-equilibrium mixture is left to settle and it separates into two mixtures that form mutual equilibrium. This is the ternary phase diagram we're going to use to solve the question graphically. Now we can start answering it. First draw a diagram to show what's going on. We're told that the system has two inputs, the 45% ethylene glycol and 55% water solution. We're going to call this the feed and give it a symbol H and assume we have one kilogram of it. The question also tells us that we have a solvent of pure furfural which is twice the weight of the feed H. The components entering the system are partially miscible in each other and will produce two solutions that are in mutual equilibrium. These are the extract and raffinate phases. We need to find their composition. Start solving the problem by plotting the data from the table into graphical form. Refer to table 1 and plot each row as one point. For example, the first point has a composition 95% furfural, 0% ethylene glycol and 5% water. To plot the composition of furfural, Find 0.95 on the axis labelled mass fraction of furfural. Read along the diagonal lines opposite to the apex labelled F. Note that there are two different types of diagonal lines crossing this axis. Do the same for ethylene glycol and water. Plot the point found. Repeat this process for all of the points on table 1. Draw a curve through the points plotted. The curve represents equilibrium. The extract and raffinate phases are expected to lie on the curve. Similarly, plot the data from table 2. As all of these points are known to lie on the curve, we only need to know the concentration of ethylene glycol and which side of the curve the point is on. We only need to read off the ethylene glycol axis. The first row refers to the plat point at 41.5. There is no tie line as it is a single point. For the second row we have a point with 52.5% ethylene glycol on the right hand side of the miscibility curve, i.e. near the apex labelled W for water. We have another point with 27.5% ethylene glycol on the left hand side of the curve, or near the apex labelled F for furfural. We can now draw a tie line between these two points. Repeat this for the next row and for the rest of the table. Recall that the extract and raffinate phases would form a tie line between them. Plot the compositions of the feed and the solvent on the diagram. Referring back to the question, the feed H has a composition of 45% ethylene glycol and 55% water, and therefore 0% furfural. The solvent S is 100% furfural and lies at the apex labelled F. Draw a line from S to H. This is needed to find the mixing point. Using the lever arm rule, it's possible to find the composition of M and plot it on the diagram. The mixing point M represents the composition you get out of mixing the feed and the solvent. From the lever arm rule, we have H over S equals the length of the line SM divided by the length of the line MH. The question tells us that the weight of the solvent S is double the weight of the feed H. Therefore, H over S is a half, and SM over MH is a half. This means the distance from M to H is double the distance from S to M. Therefore, the mixing point M is a third of the way along the line SH, which we have already drawn. Measure the distance of the line SH, divide it by 3, and then plot the point M. The mixture at point M is going to separate out along a tie line to form the extract and raffinate phases. Interpolate between the tie lines above and below the mixing point to find the tie line that passes through the point M. The ratio between the point M and the lines above and below should be maintained. Finally, read off the compositions of the extract and raffinate phases. The extract is the solvent with the material that has been extracted and will lie on the furfural side of the curve. 
It is found to have a composition of 8.5% ethylene glycol, 4.5% water and 87% furfural. The raffinate is found to be 32% ethylene glycol, 59% water and 9% furfural.